Hello, in this video, we will discuss what is OSI model and why do we need OSI model. Guys, to make you understand the need of OSI model, let me take you back to 1980s. In 1980s, there were two big vendors. One was IBM, other one was DCNet. IBM computers were able to communicate with IBM computers. DCNet computers were able to communicate with DCNet computer. What was the problem? There was no interoperability. It means IBM computers cannot communicate with DCNet computer. Now you want to know why? Because IBM and DCNet were using their own protocols for communication. Okay, let me make it easier for you to understand. Let's say I know English. So I can communicate with a person who knows English. Let's say you know Spanish. You can communicate with a person who knows Spanish. But we cannot communicate. Why? Because we know different languages. In a similar way, there are protocols which will define how communication will happen. And IBM was using their own protocols and DCNet was using their own protocols. So in 1980s, ISO break this barrier by coming up with a model called OSI model. So guys, what is the advantage we will get out of this model? You can see here. You can see here a network. I have some computers, printers, I have some phones, I have some networking devices. All these devices are belonging to different vendors. So this is the benefit of using OSI model. Fine. So next concern is what is OSI? OSI is a logical model. It is not a physical one. Actually OSI model will define how communication will take place. How sender will send the information, how receiver will receive the information. OSI model will be used by application developers when they are thinking of creating or implementing any application that will run on the network. One more thing I want to add here. OSI model will also act as a framework for any vendor when they are thinking of coming up with any device. Let's talk about devices like router, switch. All these networking devices will also use OSI model. Now guys, OSI model is actually divided into seven layers. So in this video, I will tell you how you can memorize those seven layers. So you can count them. They are, there are seven layers. If I want to remember it from top to bottom, application, presentation, session, transport, network, data link, physical. If I want to remember it from bottom to top, Physical, data link, network, transport, session, presentation, application. Now, I have a keyword for you to memorize. If you want to memorize it from top to bottom, all people seem to need data processing. So, A stands for application, P for presentation, S for session, T for transport, N for network, D for data link, P for physical. Now, if you want to remember it from bottom to top, you can remember it like this. People... Sorry, please do not tease sexy Pamela Anderson. So these are the seven layers. Now there are multiple ways to memorize them. So hope so you are able to memorize them. In this video, we have discussed what is OSI model and why do we need it. Thank you.